Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Falls Cable Access Spectrum Channel 14. I am Marlon Hestatune, and we are coming to you today from the hot corner at Menominee Falls High School for a little girls' Greater Metro Conference fast pitch softball between the visit visiting Wauwatosa West Trojans and the Menominee Falls Phoenix. We're getting underway here in just a moment. We just had the national anthem, introduction of starting lineups and we will be set to go. In case you missed the introductions for, by our field announcer, Mr. Jerry Mislang, here are today's starting lineups and batting orders. First, for the visiting Trojans, Leading off and pitching number three, Danny Martinez. Batting second and catching number 12, Kate Koenigs. In left, number 24, Veronica Golombowski. And hitting cleanup, third baseman number 18, Grace Clyer. Center fielder, number seven, Caitlin O'Reilly hits fifth. Michaela Timmers at second base, number 13, batting sixth. Batting seventh, number 11, the shortstop, Alexa Mallet. Batting eighth, Designated player number 14, Ava Kleist Parker. Batting ninth, number six, the right fielder, Allison Meyer. And at first base, number 22, Mia with Whitehouse. In the starting lineup for the Phoenix. Leading off shortstop number 28, Elise Warnock. Designated player number 50, Kaylee Nemec. Batting third, number 51, Alex Salir. Catcher number three, Danny Martinez. Kanings on deck. Batting fourth, number nine, first baseman Sophia Ramson. Batting fifth, number 56, the center fielder Lily Wagoner. Number seven, the catcher Sarah Birschbach hits sixth. Hitting seventh, number 40, the second baseman Ellie Bruns. Batting eighth, the right fielder number two, Ava Gutza. Batting ninth, number 23, left fielder Sam Goss. And the flex player number 12, Caitlin Geiger. And we are underway. Opening pitch is a strike. And pitching for Menominee Falls, number 12, Katrina Koenigs. Retires her counterpart, Danny Martinez, for the first out here in the first inning. Batting second for Tosa, number 12. Batting in the third spot. Number for Apologies, Kate Koenigs was just up for Tosa. She singles to left. So Tosa with the first base runner. She takes off. And she is gunned down. Good throw there from catcher Sarah Birchbach. Kendra Geiger, number 12, pitching for Menominee Falls. First offering here to number 24 left fielder Veronica Golombowski. They're now at one and one. That one's a little low, skips away. Two and one now on Golombowski. That one is low. Count runs to three and one. Geiger's next offering. 
Skips that one in low, and that will be a walk there for Golomboski. So with two down, that brings Grace Clear to the plate, third baseman. That one a little bit low. Okay, here's the next offer thing, that one low also. So two and zero oh here on clear. That one a little high. Oh no. I don't like that one. Two and one now here on clear. Clear out to short. That one handled by Elise Warneck. 6 3, and that'll move us through the top half of the first. No score. Not how many falls coming to bat? So early season still for these two clubs, but different direction so far. Visiting Tosa West Trojans come in 0-5 overall, 0-4 in the Greater Metro Conference. Their last time out, they lost to West Dallas Hale 11-1. Coach McKenzie Brophy for the Trojans, working with a very, very young roster. By my count, I only see two seniors, lots of freshmen, lots of sophomores, so it appears to be a rebuilding year here for the Trojans. And yeah, how many falls? While they haven't had a lot of opportunities due to the spring weather, they are 2-0, 1-0 in the Greater Metro Conference. They beat Brookfield East last time out 11-1. Their other win, an impressive one, they beat uh, Arrowhead 2-0. Arrowhead currently ranked number nine in state in Division One, so for sure, one quality win there. We'll see what Brookfield East works out to be for uh, Scott Eldridge and his first season as head coach for this Menominee Falls club. They a little more experienced. Whole lineup peppered with sophomores and juniors. So we'll see how, uh, how their season goes. But a perennially strong club here at Menominee Falls High School in girls fast pitch. We are definitely fighting one of the elements today a little bit. The wind is uh, challenging us on all accounts here, so we're uh, doing our best to keep the noise to a minimum and uh, provide you some great content for today's game. Thanks for joining us again. Bottom of the first, no score. And how many falls coming to bat? You're watching Falls Cable Access Spectrum Channel 14. Shortstop Elise Warnack steps up for the Phoenix. Danny Martinez is set to throw for the Trojans. Warnack offers with a bunt. This is that. 0 and 1. Warnack offers again. Misses 0 and 2 now on. So now when he falls shortstop, throughout the game you'll hear the dulcet tones of Jerry Mislang, the field announcer for today's game. He will uh, provide you who's coming up and such. You should pick up on our mics, but we will do the best to keep up with that also for you. Warnack squirts that one out to third base. Picked up a no throw. Warnack beats it out. So lead off single there for Elise. Number 50, Kaylee Neiman. Kaylee, Kaylee Nemec, number 50, the designated player in today's game. She will be one of the primary pitchers throughout the season for Menominee Falls.
Oh, a little bit of a collision there as Warnack takes off. But the throw is in time and she is gunned down. Anemic now batting with nobody on base. Good throw there from Kate Koenigs, Tosa's catcher. Martinez now behind 1-0. Set to throw here to Nemec. Nemec watches that one. 1-1. One one. Martinez set. And here's the pitch. Nemec shoots that one down the line, but that is foul. One and two now on the Menominee Falls designated player. Okay, looks like Nemec is ready. Back in the box. Martinez is set. Martinez tries a change up there, a little bit outside. Nemec walks, watches that, so two and two now. That one up above the letters. Nemec battled back and ran this count full. Nemec got her sign from her coach. Martinez toes the rubber, and here we go. Nemec watches that. Ball four, and she takes the walk. Third baseman, number 51, Alex Soler. Rapid on. Next up for Menominee Falls, third baseman, number 51, Alex Soler. Nemec takes off, here's the throw. Not in time, and Nemec is safe at second with the stolen base. Now when he falls, running early and often here. So one out, Alex Salir up, runner on second. See if now when he falls can make something happen this inning, that runner in scoring position. Martinez has her sign, here she comes. That one is high, one and one on Salir. Pitch, Salir taps that one foul. One and two now on the third baseman. Big cut there from Salir. Here's Martinez getting set. Salir dribbles that one down the third base line. That will be a foul ball. Still one and two. Blustery day today and all the players wearing sweatshirts or undershirts. Good wind, a little bit of rain, but we've got spring sports and we're excited for that. Martinez pulls the string on that one. Nemec trying to take third and she is gunned down. So two outs, Salir now, two and two. That one looks like it might have hit Salir because it skipped through. So she gets the 
first base on the hit by pitch. See what well, not many falls is going to do here. The first two batters up ran almost immediately, and they've had one stolen base and two caught stealings to show for it. So we'll see what they're going to do here with Salir. Sophia Ramson, first baseman, now up to bat for the Phoenix. Nothing going on the base paths. One and one on Ramson. Martinez steps on the rubber, has got her sign. Ramson taps that one foul. One and two now on the first baseman. Let's see what the Phoenix are going to do here. One, two, runner on first. Two outs. Bottom of the first. Salir takes off. Throw is not in time. Salir safe on second base. Second stolen base of the inning for the Phoenix. So Ramson has an RBI opportunity here, but two outs. Twos are wild. Two and two, two outs. Runner on second. That one is low. Full count now on the first baseman. See if Salir is going to take off. Try to get something moving, but. That one skips by a third baseman. Salir rounds third. No, they call that one foul. Just fouled on the third baseline. Clear was going to score on that, but we will do it all again. Two and two, I'm sorry, three and two, two outs, runner on second. First baseman Sophia Ramson at the plate. Danny Martinez looking to get out of this inning unscathed. He's had some traffic, but the caught stealings have cost the Phoenix. Ramson flips that one out in the left field, see if they can get there. Nobody's going to get there. So Lear on her horse, and she will score. Ramson taking advantage of the faulty throw and she finds her way out to second base on that one. So lots of twos there. If Ramson finds herself at second base, Lily Wagoner now stepping up, the center fielder, number 56. She swings at the first offering, comes up short, so 0 and 1. Martinez set, ready to offer to the center fielder. Wagner slaps that one down to third. Pick the throw, and that is the end of that. So Wagner with the 5 3 ground out ends the Phoenix threat and at the end of one complete, and how many falls? One. Tosa West, zero. Bottom of the second upcoming, we'll see center fielder Caitlin O'Reilly, third second baseman Michaela Timmers, and shortstop Alex Mallett expected up for the Trojans in this half inning. All right, here we go, top of the second, leading off, Caitlin O'Reilly for the Trojans. Caitlin Geiger with her second inning of work. First one is high. That one a little low, two and oh now. The Trojan center fielder. Geiger set. Delivery. 
That one right down the middle, two and one. That one there also, two and two now. Geiger's worked it back to even. And here comes Geiger. O'Reilly lost that one out into left. That one will drop in and be a single. Caitlin O'Reilly to start the second. Geiger's first pitch high to Michaela Timmer, second baseman for the Trojans. That one a little low, 2 0. Geiger finds a strike zone there now, two and one. And as Timmer swings through that one, ball gets dropped initially by Birschbach, but she is able to gun down O'Reilly as O'Reilly delays on her takeoff a little bit there. And it's thrown out at second base, so now two and two here on Michaela Timmers with one down and nobody on. And Geiger with her first strikeout of the day as Timmers goes down swinging. Next up for Tosa. Shortstop number 11, Alexa Mallet. That one a little high, a little tight, 1 and 0. Mallet swings through that one, even it up at one apiece. A little low, two and one now. Geiger delivers. Mallet swings over the top of that. Two and two. Here comes Geiger. She catches Mallet looking for the third out and her second strikeout. So one and a half in the books. Now he falls one. Coastal West Trojan zero. Bottom of the second coming up here in just a moment. Sarah Birschbach, catcher, Ellie Broom, second baseman, and Ava Groots of the right fielder do up for the Phoenix. And we are back. Bottom of the second, but how many falls? Coming to the plate, leading one nothing. Sarah Birschbach, the catcher. Birschbach able to throw out a runner there in the top half of the second. See if she can answer that with something positive at the plate here. Danny Martinez for her second inning of work. Birschbach looks at the first one. Strike one. Zero and one.
Martinez has her sign. Birschbach lifts that one out in the center field. When Mexicans are able to get there. And that is off the glove, and Birschbach is on her horse. She's rounding second, head into third. Throw coming in, see what they'll do here. If they hold her up, and they will. She will stop at third with a triple. Sarah Birschbach on her birthday starts off the second inning with a triple. Caitlin O'Reilly, center fielder, I think had a little trouble with the sun as that's peeking right at her right now and lost that one a little bit. And Birschbach ends up at third to start this inning. Ellie Bruins, second baseman here. Opportunity to add a run. First one's a ball. Martinez gets her sign, steps on the rubber, and we are set. Bruins, that one's back up the middle. That's going to be trouble. Birschbach gets home easily, and Bruins beats that one out. So Ellie Bruins with the infield single and RBI. Batting in the eighth spot, right fielder number two, Ava Grutza. Next up, right fielder number two, Ava Grutza. Well, now when he falls, looks to keep the inning going here. Grutza squares the button. That one skips by the catcher. Bruins is able to walk into second base. That one had... Grutza had squared around, and that one skipped by Kate Koenigs. Grutza offers that time. It's now 0-2. I guess they felt she offered that first time too, but she finds herself in a hole here. Ellie Bruins sitting out at second base. That one high. I think Martinez wanted that one. She pulled the string a little bit, tried to catch Grutza there, but it's able to hold off and stays alive for another pitch. Grutza, oh, right back to Martinez. What a catch. That was very well struck. Very, probably the actual hardest hit ball of the game so far, but a great play there by Martinez, just reacting and making the catch. Holding Bruins on at second base. First offering a ball here to left fielder Sam Goss, number 23. Her first time up today. Martinez pulls that string again, floats that one right by Goss, one and one. Goss chases one down in the dirt, one and two. Two and two now on, on Sam. Now he falls, would like to find a way to get Bruins home here and top of the second, extend the lead a little bit more. That one comes across at eye level. Full count now on Menominee Falls left fielder. Martinez pitch a little bit inside and Goss draws the walk. 
That's that number 28, Elise Warnock. So flip the lineup over here, back to the top of the order. Runners on first and second, and shortstop Elise Warnack comes up. Warnack singled her first time up, but then was caught stealing. Warnack, it's a little run and slaps that one. Fielded by the third baseman, she's able to throw Warnack out, but the runners both move up 90 feet, so. Kaylee Neiman. with the fielder's choice. So two down. Kaylee Nemec, designated player, steps to the plate. She walked her first time up. Nemec slaps that one up the middle. One run is in. They are waving the runner home. Throw comes into the second base, but now when he falls, plates two more runs as uh, number 51, Alex Bruins Slater. and Goss both Frampson come around to score. Two RBIs there for Kaylee Nemec. So it's now 4 nothing. when Amity falls here on the bottom of the second. Nemec on first base. Nemec takes off, throw down, see if she gets there, and she does. She beats the throw. It's a second stolen base for Nemec today. Alex Salir, third baseman, third baseman up, and it's 0-1 on Salir. Salir. Puts that one off the pitcher's glove. See if they can get it to first time. Not in time. And heads up running there by Nemec as she comes all the way around from second base to score. She never stopped running. First baseman number nine, Sophia Ramson. Bringing her on down. Salir with the RBI single. Pretty good running there by Nemec, reminiscent of Willie Mays Hayes. Salir takes off and she is safe in her second base. Her second stolen base of the day. So now when he falls is shown they are gonna run early and often in today's match. Sophia Ramson, first baseman, stands in, one and oh, currently on her. Ramson follows this one off here to the right side. Nobody's going to get there. So, one and one on the first baseman. Woof. <laughs> Not a big effort there on that foul ball. Someone might have had a chance at that one, but... That lets Ramson stand in there. Has another RBI opportunity sitting out there at second base. And Ramson shoots that one into the gap, but it is cut up, uh, cut off and caught by Caitlin O'Reilly. And that will be three outs, but not before four get on the board. End of two, your score, Menominee Falls five. Tosa West zero. So top of the third coming here for Tosa West. We'll see number 14 designated player Ava Kleist Parker. Right fielder Allison Meyer. And then back to the top of the order and Danny Martinez. We'll be back in just a couple minutes with top of the third. You're again your score. Menominee Falls five. Tosa West zero. Alright, here we go. Top of the third, Caitlin Geiger on the mound for Menominee Falls. Ava Kleist Parker steps to the plate, and first pitch is a strike.
Parker swings through that one, gets a piece of it, but to no avail, 0-2. Geiger's pitch a little low, one and two. We're set, Geiger offers. That one's a little low, two and two. Geiger skips that one in, so we've run the count full. Here we go, full count. Kleist Parker waits, Geiger delivers. And Kleist Parker gets caught looking on that one. Third strikeout for Geiger here in the third inning. Allison Step into the plate for Tosa. Right fielder Allison Meyer. That one's in there. Strike one. Meyer hits that one sharply, but handled by Elise Warnock. She throws her out six to three, so two down. Danny Martinez now coming back up. Her second at bat. She grounded out to the pitcher last time up. Martinez. Hits that one out to Warnock. Warnock's throw is in time. She guns out the opposing pitcher and has three up, three down inning for the Trojans. So two and a half in the books. But now he falls five. Wauwatosa West zero. So here we go. Bottom of the third for the Phoenix. Currently leading five nothing. Center fielder Lily Wagoner steps up. She grounded out five three last time. This one to give the shortstop a try. Oh, and she's going to be safe. She beats that one out. And with the overthrow, they award her second base. So Wagoner starts off the inning well for Menominee Falls. Batting in the six spot, number seven catcher, Sarah Birschbach. Sarah, Sarah Birschbach, the catcher, steps to the plate. She led off the second inning and started that scoring with a triple. See if she can keep her birthday going here. Starting to get a little sunshine rain. Birschbach watches that first one for a strike. 0 oh, 1 now on the catcher. Martinez delivery. Birschbach dribbles that one out to third. Not in time. She is safe at third. Wagoner able to move from second to third on the throw. So runners on the corner. Runners on the corners for second baseman Ellie Bruins. Bruins with a single her last time up. We will get a courtesy runner here for first box. So she has time to put her catching gear on. Page number 46 page corner. Number 46 page corner will be the designated runner here. Make sure I pronounce that right. Conert. Page Conert. Running for Sarah Birschbach. So Brune steps in. And she's Conner takes off, no throw though, to keep the runner at third. 
Even Bruins a little, a little more meat on the bone to try to take advantage of here. Any singles of the outfield has a good shot of scoring both of them. Brooms watches that one one and one. Danny Martinez had a little bit of traffic in every inning so far, so she wouldn't give for a, a quick inning, but it's already runners on second and third. Bruins slaps that one. Bad throw. Everyone's going to be safe, and Conert's going to come all the way around on the bad throw. Bruins kicks on first base, but doesn't push it there, but two more runs in for the Phoenix. It's both Wagoner and Conert running for Birschbach are able to come around and score on that one. So seven nothing with how many falls here in the bottom of the third. Looks like we might be having a pitching change here for Tosa West. Caitlin O'Reilly, the center fielder, will come in to pitch for Tosa. I apologize, the young lady that's moving out to center field wearing a jacket. I'm not sure what her number is. We will effort that for you. Looks like the new outfielder to replace O'Reilly is going to be Haley Knuth. Number one freshman for the Trojans. end of at least the in the field day for Danny Martinez. Number seven, Caitlin O'Reilly. Stepping in the plate. Right field, the number two, Ella Grutza. All right, here we go. Batting now for Menominee Falls. The right fielder, number two, Ava Grutza, falls behind 0 and 1. That one high and over the catcher, allowing Ellie Bruins to advance to second. Riley's next offering. That one is high. Two and one now on Grutza. That one also upstairs. So now it's three and one here.
Grutze looks at ball four. So no outs here, and now when he falls, two in and two on. That brings up number 23, the left fielder, Sam Goss. That one good from O'Reilly. That one upstairs, one and one. O'Reilly struggling a little bit with that release point, keeping the pitches down. That one keeps down, but too far. So two and one now on Goss. Roots on first, Bruins on second, Goss at the plate. O'Reilly's pitch. Goss slaps that one down to third. Foul ball just past the bag. So two and two now on the Manawani Falls left fielder. That one high. Runs it full. Both of these clubs now in the heart of their season. Manawani Falls Immediately plays tomorrow against, uh, they travel to Union Grove and Tosa West faces off with Brookfield Central next Tuesday. Goss pops that one and settled under it by Alexa Mallet. Short stop. So that's now the first out. First out number 28, at least one out. That brings us back to the top of the order for the Phoenix. Number 28, shortstop Elise Warnack stepping up. Warnack takes the first pitch for a strike. 0 oh 1. Warnack chases that one a bit. That was pretty low. 0 oh 2 now on the Menominee Falls shortstop. That one too high, one and two. Warnock one for two today, the single. And pulled into a fielder's choice last time up. That one way too high, two and two. Warnock swings through that one. That one bounces away from the catcher, so Warnock is able to take off. And both runners do the same. Throw going down to third, and... Brune safe at third, Grutza safe at second. Guess they didn't give Warnock the pass ball third strike there. So two out, runners on second and third. Pinch hitting for Menominee Falls, number 42, Danica Berge steps to the plate. Bergie hitting for Kaylee Nemec, a designated player position. Watches the first two come across high, 2-0 oh here on Bergie.
Bergie slaps that one. Oh, nice pricks there. Alexa Mallet getting the glove up, making a nice grab. So, end of three. Your score, Menominee Falls, seven. While with Tosa West, zero. Coming up for the Trojans in this half inning. Their catcher, Katie Koenigs, leads off. And left fielder, Veronica Golombowski. And third baseman, Grace Clyer. Are expected here in the top of the fourth. And we'll be right back. Once again, we're Falls Cable Access. Thanks for joining us today. We are at the corner here at Menominee Falls High School. Girls softball, Greater Metro Conference matchup. Visiting Tosa West Trojans and the Menominee Falls Phoenix. Your score, Menominee Falls 7, Tosa West 0 after 3. Kate Koenig steps to the plate for Tosa West. She is 1 for 1 today, but was caught stealing to get that single wiped out that she had in the first inning. Caitlin Geiger on to work her fourth inning. Starts that one off with a strike. Kaney's got her sign, she's set. That one's a little high, one and one. And the Tosa catcher. I'm sorry. Can he swing through that? One and two now. Koenigs flips that one down the right field line, and that'll be a foul ball. So we'll stay at one and two here. Geiger looks ready. Here we go. Koenigs lost that one out to center. And... Lily Wagoner settles under that nicely, makes the catch. One down for the Trojans. Veronica Golombowski steps to the plate. Left fielder is no official at bats today as she walked in her first at bat in the first inning. That one's hit out into the gap, see if somebody can track that down, and yes. All right, we had a substitution that we didn't get here in right field. That was Paige Conert after pinch running. She uh, stayed in the game. She made a nice catch there for the second out. Third baseman Grace Clare now steps up, and that is a quick fourth inning for the Trojans. Your score, Menominee Falls, seven. Walk to us a West, zero. All right, we are ready to go here. So, so West gathers up on the mound. To, you ready? Getting some pinch hitters here for Menominee Falls. As so we head into the bottom of the fourth, Falls up 7 nothing. Caitlin O'Reilly, her second inning of work. Pinch hitting here from Anomaly Falls, number 14, Mandy Yonda. Mm -hmm. 
And she is ahead two and one right now. Yanda dribbles that one down the first base line, and it will be not in time. She beats that one out. Single to start the fourth here for Menominee Falls. First baseman number nine, Sophia Ramson. Corner on deck. Next up for Menominee Falls. First baseman, Sophia Rampson. And there was a lead there, but no going. One and one now on Rampson. Ramson is one for two today with a single and an RBI in the first. Flew out to center. Throw down behind Yonda. A little late. That pitch is low, so three and one. No, oh, no, that was ball four. We were one behind on the scoreboard for the count. Apologize for that. Right fielder, number 46, Page Corner. That brings up Page Corner to Moved out to the outfield after pinch running for the catcher last inning. She's batting for Lily Wagoner. Connor did have a stolen base and did score while she pinch ran last inning. That one's low 2-0 and, oh and Yonda tries to steal third and is gunned down there. Sophia, uh, Sophia Ramson moves up on the throw down to third, but it's now one out and a runner on second for the Phoenix. Two and one now on Conert. Corner watches that one go by high and she takes first on the walk. Next up, set, catcher number seven, Sarah Birschbach. Birschbach steps up two for two today. A triple and a single, two runs scored. That's two and oh quickly on Birschbach. Ball three high, three and zero oh now here on Birschbach. That'll be ball four, so that will load them up for the Phoenix. Brings up second baseman, Ellie Broon steps to the plate. 
Bruins two for two today with a pair of singles and a pair of RBIs. Got a whole flock of ducks on the pond here. First one is high for Bruins. At this point in time, best offense might be being passive. Riley's O'Reilly's struggling to hit the strike zone right now. That one is low, two and zero. Oh. Riley able to get that one over. Two and one now on Bruins. That one is high. Three and one. O'Reilly needs to find the strike zone. Nowhere to put Bruins here. Bruins hits that one out, picked up, pops out to the second baseman. Nobody's able to advance. Kayla Timmers corrals that and gets the out. So two down, Ava Grutza steps to the plate. Right fielder is 0 for 1. The line out and a walk so far today. She watches that one for ball one. Grutza hits that one out to short. They go to first. And it is in time. Six to three. And how many falls? Strands, the base is loaded. So, end of four, your score. But how many falls? Seven. Tosa West, zero. All right, so here we go, top of the fifth. But how many falls leading? Tosa West, seven, nothing. Caitlin Geiger still on the mound for Benamini Falls, and Caitlin O'Reilly steps to the plate. She is one for one, but got wiped out off the bases and a caught stealing. Geiger falls behind 3-0 here to O'Reilly. That one's in there, 3-1 now. That one's good. Geiger's fought her way back to bring this one full. Three and two now on O'Reilly. Riley just gets a piece of that one. Still three and two. Geiger's got what she likes. Here she comes. Riley slaps that one down to third. Nice throw and the put out. One down here in the top of the fifth. Now batting center base for number 13, Michaela Timmons. Mandy Yonda with a nice arm there on that one for that put out. Five to three. Michaela Timmers steps to the plate. Timmer's 0 for 1 with a strikeout back in the second inning. Drill a couple of bumps in the first inning. Geiger has been pretty dominant here the rest of the game. 
That one's low, one and one. She's gone. She's only allowed one base runner since the first inning. Oh, my apologies, she's allowed no base runner since the first inning. So. I guess I should say she's been three up, three down. She did allow a single to lead off the second, but that was quickly cut down by caught stealing. Otherwise, first inning she gave up a single and a walk, but one of those is caught stealing, and she was out of that after only four batters. And then the second, third, and fourth have all been three batter innings for her. Now she's two and two here on Kayla Timmer's second baseman. Timmers slaps that one into right field. Is that one of those spots where the announcer jinx the pitcher? Next up, shortstop Alexa Mallet. Mallet 0 for 1. She was caught looking back in the second. That one high there from Geiger. Now that follows that one back, one and one. And in one, two and one now on Mallet. That one skips by in the dirt. Again, three and one. No advancement there from Timmers, though, so. Tigers pitch low and away. That one gets past the catcher, and that will be a walk there to Mallet. So the Trojans got a little something stirring here. Two on, one out. Are on first and second. Ava Kleiss Parker steps to the plate. She's 0 for 1 with a strikeout in her only at bat so far in the third. That one is in there from Geiger. Geiger quickly ahead, 0-2. Parker swings through that one. Geiger with the strikeout. Allison Meyer. Two down. Right fielder Allison Meyer stepping to the plate. Geiger set. Here she goes. Now in a little low. 1-0. Meyer flips that one in the right field and that. Skips by Conert. Meyer ends up at second. And Tosa West is on the board. 7-1 now. Two outs here.
Runners still at second and third. Haley Knuth now, her first at bat of the day. She came in when the pitching change happened back in the third inning. She is down 0-2. Stays alive, follows that one off, still 0-2. Tigers pitch, Knuth. A little bit of an emergency swing there as she tomahawks at that one and follows it away. Still 0-2. Fighting them off. Fouls that one away. Making Geiger work here. See if she can straighten it out a little bit. They're getting closer. She's on them a little bit better each one. Add a little bit low. One and two. And that one, finally someone able to put some leather on a canoe. Lines that one out to Sophia Rampton. And we've got five, halfway through the fifth inning, your score, Menominee Falls seven, Tosa West one. So here we go, bottom of the fifth, Sam Goss leading off, Katie O'Reilly on the mound. We are back underway. Goss takes the first pitch. Out under the glove of the third baseman, and she beats that one off for a leadoff singer, single. So that takes us back to the top. Elise Warnack, shortstop. Elise, one for three today with a single. Feel this choice in a strikeout, and she was caught stealing. So she'd like to right the ship a little bit today. Ball one high. O'Reilly's second offering here. That one high. Goss taking a big secondary lead there. That one catches the corner two and one here now. I mean, how many falls shortstop? That one high, three and one now. Goss takes off on that one. Called strike two, but no throw. Goss now at second base. Warnock lays on the bunt. Throw is not in time. Goss moves over to third. Warnock safe at first. First and third now for the Phoenix with no outs.
Next up, Danica Berge stepping to the plate for Menominee Falls. She lined out her last time up, her first at bat. Substituted in. That one's high. Warnock takes advantage. So she makes her way down to second base, uncontested. Riley with the changeup. One and one now here on Bergie. That one just a little high, two and one. That is low. Three and one now here on how many falls hitter. Bergie watches that one. That is high. She will take the base on balls to load them up a Phoenix. Number 14, Mandy Yonda. Brings up number 14, Mandy Yonda. Came in at third base for Salir. Base is loaded, nobody out. That one's high. O'Reilly's got to dial it in here. She cannot start walking people with the bases loaded. Yanda fouls that one off. One and one. <clears throat> Yanda takes another hack. One and two now in the third baseman. That one high. And now when he falls, able to take advantage of that pass ball, Sam Goss makes it home. Warnack and Bergie advance 90 feet. Yanda watches that one. Full count now on the third baseman. That one is high. And it takes the walk and loads the bases again. Brings up the first baseman, number nine, Sophia Rampson. Rampson, one for two today with a single, an RBI, and a walk. Found herself stranded at third last inning. Riley's first pitch is high. Throw down to third. Keeping Warnack honest down there. Ramson lost that one to left. Left fielder going back. Able to make the catch. Warnack will tag. Throw comes in, but not in time. How many falls runners move up? And it's now nine to one when how many falls. So nine to one, Phoenix lead. 
Paige Conert steps to the plate. Corner hits that one out to short. Good throw in time. So that's the second out. So Sarah Birschbach steps to the plate with two outs. Runner on third. Menominee Falls leading 10 to 1. Important hit bat here for Menominee Falls. Birschbach can push Jandy home. We have a 10 run lead at the end of five. Birschbach flips that one onto the left field, and that's going to drop. Jandy will score. Birschbach safe at first with a single. And this game is history. And just like that, that will bring an end to this afternoon's match as Menominee Falls takes a 10 run lead after five innings. Your final score Menominee Falls 11. Wauwatosa West Zero, Sarah Birschbach, whose birthday it is today, goes three for three on the day, including that game-winning RBI on that single with a triple, two singles, two runs scored, a walk, and that game-winning RBI. Congratulations and a happy birthday, Miss Birschbach. Hope you enjoyed today's Greater Metro Conference girls softball match between the visiting Wauwatosa West Trojans and the Menominee Falls Phoenix. Your final score once again, Menominee Falls 11, Wauwatosa West 1. We are Falls Cable Access, Spectrum Channel 14. I'm Marlon Hestertoon. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed yourselves and have a great day. Good night, everybody.